What's going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. For this video, I'm going to show you how to make a fairly simple but effective attachment for your LEGO Mindstorm robot that uh, can successfully uh, execute several of the City Shaper uh, missions for this year. Uh, this particular attachment happens to be based on a gearing mechanism. As you can see, it's a one-to-one -one gear mechanism. allows these front flaps to remain uh, at the same level through their entire rotation. And it's based on uh, a simple gear idea here that uses one-to-one -one gears. And if you use an odd number of gears, as you see, we rotate and the gears will actually follow each other. So if we take this idea and we move it over to our robot, okay, we have an odd number of gears uh, where we take the first gear at our drive motor axle at our center line and the last gear at the flap attachment. And as we rotate this, the inside gears will actually move uh, and turn the outside gear while the first gear that's at the same axle center line as the motor will remain still and steady and allow the rest of the gears to rotate and move our attachment. So let's take a quick look at how we would do this. Put the robot off to the side. Okay, um, We need uh, a handful of uh, items here. I've put some of them together already just to simplify things. So we're going to need five gears. Uh, I've chosen to use the 24 tooth gears for this particular attachment. Uh, you can use the smaller gears if you'd like. you just got to make sure that the gears do not stick out too far or else they might get in the way of some of the uh, items that you want to place out onto the field. Okay, and if we basically look at this, we're going to be making a frame mechanism. We'll take our robot and put it over here a little bit. Okay, we're going to make this frame. We're going to put it together with some angle pieces, all right, gears on the side, and an axle in the front. Okay, so let's take a look at how to do that. I'm going to put these off to the side. Okay, we're going to get our beam in the front here. And we're going to start attaching some things together. Now, some of the more important issues here is you need to make sure that your attachment is, in fact, aligned properly with your motor and your end attachment. Uh, unfortunately, every robot is going to be a little bit different, so uh, we won't necessarily have this work for everybody's robot. Uh, in my particular case, I'm, I'm going to be using uh, the second hole from the bottom. This is where our axle is going to come out. All right. And we're just going to put a couple more of these over here and attach this guy over here. Okay, so that's the outside of our frame. All right. And this is the second piece that's going to actually mate with our motor. So we're going to have a motor that's going to sit in here. And we want this piece to mate with the motor. So we want to put that in there with a, some angle pieces. Okay, and they kind of butt right up against each other. Um, the next piece is a support piece that's going to go back here. And the important part about where you're putting the support piece is it has to line up with your gears. Uh, so we need to make sure that we're placing our angle supports uh, exactly at the center line of our gears. Okay, so in this particular case, I'm going to put this on our angle piece here, and this is actually going to go in from the back with a couple black pins. So we're going to put some pins in this, and we're going to snap this in place. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side here, except reversed. I'm going to put these in, place this on here, okay, and then this is going to snap into here. Okay, now, again, how far down we put it is very critical. In this case, we need to have three pins or three positions showing at the top. Okay, so I'm going to place this in here. All right, you notice we have the three positions showing because we're going to be attaching along the center line. And then we're going to attach that. So that, that makes our, our braced framing mechanism. All right? And our motor is going to go up here and kind of complete the support up on this side. On the other side, we're actually going to put the pivot uh, that we're going to use that's going to stay in the center line of the motor. Okay, For the gearing arrangement, uh, we're going to use the gears with these 
pins and remember they have to be the uh, gray pins because the gray pins will actually rotate inside an axle shaft uh, or shaft they um, or beam uh, if we use the black ones they won't rotate so if I put this in here this will actually rotate and that's uh, that's very important you need to have them in there so I'm just going to go ahead and snap my gears in and you'll notice the gear centers happen to line up with my angle braces All right for the last one I'm going to put on the end of the gear I'm going to put a gear on an axle this happens to be um, in, in my particular uh, case here this is a, a 13 length axle I'm going to put this piece on the end of it and this is what we're going to be using to attach our uh, our flaps and this is going to go through here now you'll notice that there's nothing in the center right now holding that up which we're going to need something in the center okay so what we're going to use is we're going to use an angle piece okay which is going to come in from the back I take that and put it over here all right so that angle will support this and then we need to support the angle in the back so the way we do that is we have a couple of these pieces that we've already kind of inserted some some pins into we're using the blue pins in this particular case okay I'm gonna put this on the back fall off. okay and we're gonna put this on here and I'm going to attach that using these these blue pieces. So I'm going to snap one into here, and this one's going to snap into here. Okay, and actually I have to do that the opposite way because you'll notice that actually has the star section on it that goes into the last hole on my L bracket. And then the next one is just pretty much a stabilizing piece that's going to go in here. Okay, and I'm going to separate this so that I can get that piece in. All right, so that just right there is going to hold the angle piece on. Okay, now when we take this and put it through, okay, now it's supported in the center. Okay, and in order to extend that out to the other side, we're going to use a little extension piece. And we're going to snap that in here and put the other axle on. Okay, and then on the other side, we're going to put a piece that matches this one. All right, so there's the support for our two flaps, our support mechanism for the axle, and we're kind of ready to go. Now I'm going to put my motor in here, okay, so let's go put the motor in, and for the motor, I'm going to use the pins in the side of the motor, okay, well you put both sides in while we're putting them in, okay, and we're going to go in this case in the top set of holes, I think what I'm going to do for the time being is go to this side first. Okay, and then I'm going to put this side in. Okay, so now we have this mechanism that rides up and down on our motor, supported by the motor, and we now need to have something in here that pivots at the same point as the center of the motor, and that's where the last gear comes in. We place that in, and in order to lock it in place, we're going to use a two position beam that has the star in it. A star will kind of hold that in place. Okay? So we're going to put this in here. Okay, you'll notice, see now that'll kind of hold that in place. All right, and then what I'm going to do is, in order to support that, this is going to have an L, it's one of the small L's in the back. All right, and we're going to wind up with a beam back here that supports it at the same level as the motor. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and snap that in and put this in at the bottom here to kind of hold that in place with the L. Okay, and then I'm going to also put a couple of these in with the, uh, the motor or the L. Okay, I'm going to mount this L one position up. Okay, like this, and mount that on here. Okay, so now I actually have a support on this side, and I have a support for the motor, and you'll notice that this axle aligns with the center line of the motor. Okay, so now you'll notice that as this moves, my gears follow. Okay, and if I take a set of these flaps, all right, and I put these flaps in here,
See, now we have a mechanism that once I attach this to the robot, okay, they'll follow wherever I, wherever I, I turn my, my, um, my motor. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is kind of realign this because if I want the motor here and I want them to follow, I'm going to have to kind of take this gear off. I'm going to rotate that around. And put this back on so let's say my motor is going to be around here I'll put that gear back in there okay so now you see that my motors here as I rotate my motor around those flaps are going to stay at the same level okay and basically that's what we did on the robot okay as we move this around flaps stay at the same level okay well that's it for this video if you like the video please drop a like and if you have anything else you'd like us to show you, just let us know. Thanks.